What is going on guys? My name is Jay and in this video you will learn how you can add or remove cookies from your website. We're gonna use today a library called JS Cookie. It's very easy. Now you can use um, JavaScript vanilla to do this. So there's a link in the description if you are not interested in using a library, but this is extremely easy to do. So I love it. So let's get into it. Um, here you can see they have uh, a CDN that we're gonna use, but you can download the file and use it. But we're gonna be using our CD, the CDN. So here I have a HTML. All I have right now is a title, an H1 with uh, cookies. And I have a script JS, which is empty. And I have a style CSS, and this is the only thing I have here. Um, so yeah, let's go here. And the first thing they tell you is to download or use the CDN. So we're gonna use the CDN. I'm gonna copy that link. I'm gonna put it here. All right, it's looking good. Let's save the file. Let's go down a little bit. And you can see here like basic usage. This is what we're gonna do right now. So you can set a cookie so you can create a cookie just like this, that simple. So let's just copy that and paste it in our script JS. So let's say, um, I don't know, um, I eat websites and we can turn that to true. All right, so we set a cookie. Let's go here to the site. This is the only thing we have. So I'm, I'm gonna right click I'm gonna click inspect so you can open your inspector. And then I'm gonna go to application and you will see here um, a section or a category called storage. And you will find the cookies here, you open that and you will find whatever domain you're on, um, the website that you are, you're gonna see it here. So click there, okay? So right now, um, if I click save, you will see here, then now we have a cookie, a new cookie called I eat websites. You know what, let's call it I eat something more simple. All right, that's better. Now we have two, one I eat, one I eat websites. I'm gonna remove this cookie. And you can see here, the value is true and expires 1969. So that's very old. So that's something that we need to do. Let's add some expiring date. So if you see here, look at this. So is the name, the value, comma, brackets, open and closing bracket and expires and the number of days. So let's do that. Let's go comma, open and cl closing bracket, expires. And let's do like, um, I don't know, two days. For example, let's click save. All right, let's see. Now we're talking. So you can see 2018, um, 0607. So this is the month and day we are. This is June 4. So yeah, it's correct. Two days from now. Let's see what we can do to have a little bit of fun. So right now I have the cookie that's done. Now I want to get the value of that cookie and store it in like a variable. So I'm going to create a like variable. Let's call it my cookie equals to. And if you go here, you will see that you can get the cookie using the get. So let's say cookies dot get and the name, which is I eat. And let's console log if we get that value it's supposed to be true. So my cookie, let's console here. True. Yep, that's what we want. Perfect. So let's remove that. That's working. That's great. So now let's say um, I want to if the user have that cookie there and it's equal, it's equal to true. I want to change something in my website. So let's do something very quick. So if let's say my cookie equals to true, which actually you don't need to do this. 
you can just remove all this and just my cookie so this is the same thing is like if my cookie is true we can change um add some kind of class to this title so i have a class here um, named cookie so let's do that first we need to get a title so let's create a variable title equals to document you can do query selector All right, let's get um, the H1. This is an H1. All right, so now we can go here and say title dot, let's add a class. So class list dot, yep, dot add. And let's add the class of cookie. So cookie. So I'm saying if my cookie I eat cookie is true add a class to the title cookies let's save and let's see and look at that and now we can do the same thing if it's false so let's say like if my cookie is false equal to false damn it there I can do the same thing let's copy and paste this but remove the cookie. So let's change it to false in here. And look at that. Let's change it to true. And it goes back, depending on the value. So for example, it can be like if the user click a button the cookie will um, change the value to false from, from true or true to false, whatever, and that will um, affect some behavior on your website depending on the, what the user is doing on your website. So there's a ton of things that you can do with cookies and this is a very easy start for you. So that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.